What's up, everybody? Your Titos of Fighting are back. And as always, we are going to talk about combat sports, everything that happened this week. We are very, very happy. As you can see, all the three of us are um, smiling because uh, it's a very <laughs> back to normal. Yes. Yep. And masaya, sobrang saya na nangyari for this week. We're very, very proud. But uh, we're going to go around the leagues. Uh, pinag-usapan namin off air kanina si kung kung newsworthy ba pero nakakatawa siya eh yung boxing news ni JC si Jeff Horn I'm like come Jeff on Horn. Six. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Horn <laughs> parang second round gas out parang magna. tapos wala na he tried yeah. to survive na lang ano. no more no more so that's it yan na po yung <laughs> <laughs> that's boxing news for today that's boxing yeah. news for ano for this week Hopefully, our local boxers are gonna oh, have wow. their time back in the gym. Mm. Uh, as of this recording, I think uh, some gyms are gonna be allowed to open tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, very good development. Uh, of course, we're going to adhere to the high standards of safety and precautionary measures. And I think the IATF will lay down their guidelines. But mm-hmm. this is a, soon. a yes. This is a small step towards a. Uh, uh, normalization or having giving us an, another opportunity to do what we love but we're gonna go mm-hmm. around the realm of fighting and we're gonna go with yep. UFC Fight Night 8 in Vegas so this is Anthony Smith versus Alexander Rakic and um, we're gonna browse through them Ricardo Llamas uh, decisions uh, Bill Algeo I, I kind of expected this from Ricardo Llamas mm-hmm. uh, medyo wala pa eh. uh, Algeo's it's probably Fun. his Fun. early fights for the UFC. So, Alexa Grasso uh, decisions. Uh, Ji Yun Kim. It's my this, favorite. Yep. Yeah. Yep. She's she's good. She's. Yeah. Parang she ano siya? Parang na underdog. Parang feeling ko ano siya yung dalawa. Medyo feeling ko underdog siya pero she's very dangerous. Uh, eh. mm. yeah. May uh, Mexican boxer feels pero hindi mm, pa siya marunong magbitch uh, ng distance. Mm. Medyo ano pa, parang medyo konti lang mahihinog na yan, mahihinog na yan. I, I like her though. Yeah. The names to watch out for. And uh, uh, ako, uh, feeling ko she's very marketable. She's she just, she's not so bad. Exactly. Uh, she's not so bad. The mm. Latin market. Mm. Mm. Very big. But definitely not so bad. Um, who else? Uh, this one, uh, Robbie Lawler versus Neil Magny. Mm. I, I, yeah. I, I providing a very good point. <laughs> ano nang ano ni Robbie Lawler ngayon? Four, Zero four, four in fight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Four fight losing streak. Yeah. So, are there any Militic fighters who are still in the winning? <laughs> Yun parang, wala eh. na, parang, no? parang wala na. Like, parang hirap is it the style eh. you think, coach? Is it I, the style? I, because they're very explosive. Yep. They're very... The, the style that they're training at or they're training in does not evolve with them or it doesn't... Ito uh, yun when, if you're getting older, you cannot do the same amount of intensity. You have to phase out your training properly. You have to allow, you have to provide more emphasis on drilling. You have to provide more emphasis on recovery. Kumbaga. If they're still training both the wall and they're still going at it yeah. at the gym, you'll, you'll have lesser recovery time and you won't perform mm-hmm. as you as much as you want to. Tapos ito rin naman eh. Robbie Lawler is going up against Neil Magny. Neil Magny is yeah. a yeah. very, very yeah. dangerous striker. It's like a high niya. level kickboxer. Um, it's very long. Yeah. Yes, uh, definitely. Range comes into play. Not only because he's a favorite, but because, yeah. you know, he's a... Parang yung style niya, let me bang, bro. Hindi mm. mm. na pwede. Hindi na, na pwede pala. I thought he'd do better against Colby Covington for one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was disappointing. Ano na lang, Props it's, to Neil, though. It's just wear and tear. Uh, ako, I really mm-hmm. believe na we're, we're reaching that point na diminishing mm-hmm. returns na. So, Pero, I mean, Robbie can still fight. You know, Robbie yeah. can still fight. He needs to mm. change something in his camp. And the yeah, way what do trains. you think that is? It's... It's it's a no question it's, talaga. It's, it's always ano eh, uh, he's so he used wrestle. to doing he's so used to doing yeah yung mga Spartan type training. Uh, mm-hmm. He bring he needs to bring ruthless back because right uh, now he's he's uh, Robbie <laughs> reckless. Yeah, <laughs> reckless to <laughs> say. Too From reckless, ruthless yeah. to reckless. <laughs> Grabe. Parang I think the best example for this one is Cowboy Cerrone. Cowboy Cerrone, yeah. Cowboy okay, Cerrone yeah. has has. Um, he's had he has battles, one of he's had yeah, the wars. He's he's had the wars, and uh, he's been very open about uh, the way he's he's training now. Now he focuses more on drilling. 
He yeah. focuses more on recovery so that he has more energy come fight night. Tinga, he recognizes that he's getting older, that uh, he's he's getting a little bit slower, mm. and he wants to stand and bang with the younger guns. Now he needs to have mm. his body 100 percent, yeah. at least close to 100 percent. And then, uh, of course, the main event, uh, Anthony mm-hmm. Smith. Uh, this was interesting. Smith, uh? Alexander Rachik is a very big guy. <laughs> He's a <laughs> or, big Serbian guy. Have you ever seen him? What is he? Serbian. What is it? But he's very big. Anthony Smith. I think yeah. Anthony Smith. Which was surprising. Uh, wow. Did you hear Anthony what Anthony Smith, Smith said? Anthony. After. Anthony, what, what? What did he say? He said he he was just so disappointed in himself because he really thought An- uh, Alexander was beatable by him. Yeah, it it kind of sounded like he was underestimating the Serbian. Parang, for sure, like for probably you because say... of lack of star power, right? Oh, mm-hmm. pero ito lang din yun, eh. the yeah, price. yeah, it's good to be confident, but for you to actually, right? Parang overconfidence is said, bad as over, well. Oh, yeah. overconfidence is bad as well. Chaka, ito yun, eh. you cannot take. Any of your opponents lightly, and the way mm. that he got wrestled out, uh, he got out wrestled, uh, mm. he got <laughs> pinned on the cage, and he wasn't able yeah. to recover and get up. Oh, so bro! Hirap, hirap siya. All those leg kicks. What? Yep. what the hell? And he, well, Anthony, Anthony Smith is a little bit slower. I don't know. So mm. hopefully yeah. he gets that better in be the it. next ano. <clears throat> is it a John one. Jones thing then? Like you're never the same after three. Ah. Uh, That could be a factor, but if you fought someone like John Jones, you know that you can, you know who you're chasing. You yeah, know the yeah. level you're you're gonna be exposed you to the level the that you're. Oh, parang you're gonna be exposed to a level. Na iisip mo okay, I'm not yet there. So so mm-hmm. it gives you that added. It should give you that added motivation to train and get better and add more knowledge to your <laughs> game. But mm-hmm. of course, there's the flip side. There's um. <sighs> You get beaten by someone who's really, really good. Hmm. It, it'll make you realize na para okay, hanggang dito na lang ba ako? Is this, is this the limit to my abilities or? Hmm. Hindi ba ako am elite? I, oh, oh, yon. <laughs> <Hindi> ba, <laughs> am, am I, am I not elite? Am I, hmm. am I capable of taking it to the next level? So, he's probably one of the fighters that's there. Because who is the one who won? 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 He was thankful for that fight because it could only it only made yeah. him better in the sense that mm. he's now chasing the level that he needs to be in in order mm. to beat John Jones, and he realized that it's not that far. So Contina that's it lang. for oh, so that's it for Antal dito. UFC. So that's it for the UFC. UFC. Yeah. I want to discuss the next two ano kasi, fight cards into a sure. more in a more detail. Then so please, Carl, update us on yes. what happened. The so, world of Letway. The world yeah. of Letway. That, that was an amazing <laughs> card. When, They're when not Carl our country. Said, Carl said, uh, Me Letway, let's all watch it. I watched yeah. it. I'm like, wow. Grab it. <laughs> Grab it. Yeah. Grab it. Okay, let's see. 2,000 years card. unchanged. Okay, so WLC <laughs> World Letway Championship had hideout battle um, highlighted by the Bantam, first Bantam weight. Um, belt for female but uh for the females mm-hmm. um where uh let, let me just uh run down the under oh yes yes because so, it's a really good card let's run really down good the card. winners so yeah. we're gonna mention their names <laughs> <laughs> let, let me choose my words wisely because <laughs> but um yagmar suren borku from mongolia defeated uh nur muhammad by tko <laughs> and he made that guy quit last week uh for those who weren't able to watch last week we were talking about going for the kill when you watch yeah. Way, everyone's going for the kill uh, as in yes i love i love watching the entire card as in Ganyan when he sin. saw that the guy was limping he just kept going for the leg tapos talaga grabe pati yung mga 12 to 6 elbows uh, later yes. in the rounds <laughs> a dami ko na nakitang headbutt so next. standing eh, mm. <laughs> that characteristic of left way and you can see how it's different from Muay Thai because mm-hmm. there's no mm-hmm. feeling out there's no yeah. often there's no gamblers because it's done <coughs> during Buddhist holidays so bawal magsugal okay so the second one is Omar Mahir defeated Topic Abdulayev by KO 
in round one. This was also a surprise. Like, uh-huh. wow, it's a tall guy. Sobrang ano, um, sobrang parang feeling ko para siya si Will Choke natin. Sorry ko. Defender weight pero ano. Oh, Kod nito ah. Pero gamer yung kalaban niya. This Naka yeah. guy is, is such a gamer. He was yeah. he went toe to toe. So the next one is Nabil Anane defeated Sao Pokwar. Um mm-hmm. Sao Pokwar is one of the uh, top um lightweight competitors. I think he has a silver belt uh mm-hmm. which is a regional golden belt. Ang silver belt sa WLC is a regional golden belt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um a uh, clear winner will in points. Uh, mm-hmm. It's always a draw. But with WLC, they've instituted the recent, recent meaning parang ng 90s nang bigay na ng um, rule set for points and judges. Okay. Yung Lethway Federation. Mm-hmm. So ngayon, there's a winner which would, um, <laughs> kasi kung nanonood ka ng kind of makes sense though. Ng, oh. Makes sense, di ba? Kung makes anin oras nanonood ka ng mga matches tapos puro draw, Western <laughs> oh, audiences oh, will not watch it's, it's your It's gonna yeah. be harder for them to create fight cards then. Kasi, di ba? Who's yeah. gonna go for the shot, for the title shot? Kung, di ba? Puro draw. Oo, oh, puro draw. Kasi draw or KO lang before. Oh, okay, o lang before. So parang ang andaling mga ano explain sa lola mo. Parang sino nanalo? Eh di yung mm. nakatayo. Let's <laughs> 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 so hindi biro, hindi biro in durations. Five mm. rounds of three minutes. Mm. Yeah. That's uh, traditional, ha? Oh. Grabe, ha? Oo. So baragang kayo. So don't, um, wag mong ubusin yung gas tank mo. First, mm. second round lang, diretsyohin mo na. Because mm. it's bare knuckle and you can mm. use your head. Yep. So there's a lot of different combos, especially in the next match, si Christoph Kirsch and Gligor Stojanov, mm-hmm. probably from Georgia. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is a great example of how you can incorporate headbutts into your um, arsenal in terms of combos. Yung dulo, yung may tawag pa dun eh, flying headbutt as opposed to a mm-hmm. headbutt from the clinch. <laughs> yep. And uh, sometimes there's funny names because I can't pronounce them. But they're very effective, especially mm. kung yung whipping ng Muay Thai. Mm, mm, mm. Plum clinch to the mm. outside. Yep. He headbutt mo yung tenga. Yep, I saw a lot mm. of that in this fight. You saw a lot of that. I saw a lot of that. That really just, fight. oh, parang nanginginig yung inner ear mo. Saka it Nang, opens up sila. so many things when it comes uh, to combinations of striking and the yeah. clinch. It takes the clinch, eto lang ha, for me, it takes the clinch game to a different level. Different level. Because now there, there are so many options for you. Tapos, mm. Uh, I like the way how Letway fighters utilize their elbows during the clinch. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of it comes from the point by Carl before. I mean, he mentioned this, uh, like 12 to 6 elbows are allowed, 6 to 12 mm-hmm. elbows are allowed. And you see that, you see it highly effective here. Yeah. As in, yung iba nga, may nakita akong laban. Um, I think, that was that's for the later sige dun na sa main hmm. bout sige next bout natin si, next one is Somi Ong Luk Fa mm-hmm. uh, defeated Arthur Te by split decision this was kind of close um, mm-hmm. but also yung illustrate ko dun yung ano nga yung your point being parang ang daming combos that um, mm-hmm. figure into the headbutts na tapos sila tanong ni JC like a uh, couple of days back paano tinitrain yung headbutts yeah. Uh, ba? I mean, how Ako, you... ano eh, sa punching bag ko nakikita eh. <laughs> like when I first heard of uh, David Leduc, sa punching bag daw siya eh. Tsaka when I Pero saw some ding, of his videos ding. training, sa yeah. punching bag lang, ina head ni headbutt niya Pero hmm. yeah, there's, May, there's a certain, certain oh, there's a certain technique to it eh. Yun yung hmm. napansin ko. Yeah. Yung Dito lakas lang. kasi ng pag-headbutt mo eh. Hmm. May mga headbutt na parang wala halos na na force eh. Kanila talagang solid yeah. solid. Eh. Solid! Tama. <laughs> oh, Magamit sila ng coconuts guys ah, minsan. Mm. To strengthen. Pag medyo mataas na yung level mo, uh-huh. the same way na minsan sa, sa shins ng Muay Thai, okay. ano muna. Nagpagpagpag hanggang uh-huh. pwede nang ano, pwede mm. nang pasan-pasin. Yep. So coconuts na yung dulo ng headbutts. <laughs> Ah, okay. Coconut na. Ah, I mean, pag nabiyak mo na. Pag ano na, pagka uh, medyo, medyo proficient na. Medyo matigas na yung oh. Oh. Matigas na yung ulo mo. <laughs> matigas na yung ulo mo. <laughs> Kasi nagkakaroon nga ng ano dito. Diba? Nagkakalsification uh, yan. Oh. Nagkakalsification. Calcification of ano yan. So, next. Yeah, so, so the main event is Suriman Freddy from France uh, who defeated Maisha Katz. Both women were game. Sobrang yeah. game. Pero si Suri talagang ibang level lang. So, you were bra- saying about the 12 to 6 elbows dun yung expert. Yun yun. That mm-hmm. is the perfect example of utilizing 12 to 6 elbows within the claim. Ito yun. He used that as a lead ano, as a lead attack. As in, pagpasok niya, if you watch the fight, he would take a small step in 
Now, uh, as for Muay Thai fighters, ito yun, ah. Muay Thai fighters, since walang 12 to 6, or they rarely mm. use 12 to 6, it's either it's either 6 to 12, or a slicing na 10 to 4, or 2 to 8. Mm. Ito, yung nanalo, the, the winner of that bout, si... Teka lang, Suri. I, I Suri. hope I don't Suri. murder. Diba? Suri, Manfredi. Suri Manfredi. Sa kanya ko nakita yung approach. I, I saw a very good approach where he would take a lead step and then finish it off with a 12 to 6 elbow. As in, it's, she, she timed it perfectly. Uh, two punch combination, one, no? two punch combination, bridge the gap, step inside, sabay, bam! Sabi ko, grabe yun ah. Ang ganda nun ah. She, si she Maisa wasn't, Katz, ano ah, pushover. She, she didn't yeah. back down. As in, ang ganda nung laban. As in, uh, super, super nice, super happy to watch that entire fight. I didn't Perfect mind. for a title fight. Oh. I mean, I didn't mind watching <laughs> three minutes of five rounds of... Mm. Yeah. I don't want to say music it's over it. It's eh. so, pang mga para exotic. Ah. Oh, may, may traditional music na background. Na iba eh. from the mm. Thai music, diba? Yes, mm. yes, that's true. Well, Parang probably, ang tinis palagi eh. <laughs> we'll probably get into that later on. We'll, we'll research like how this whole, yeah. ano, how this one, whole. Uh, I wanted to highlight works. lang pala because um, mm. I've seen one of some of the high level Lethway guys chain mm. their combos with the headbutt. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Or sa dulo may dump. So okay. I haven't seen the foreign fighters do it because it's probably a very traditional kind of training. Pero um, you have to get as these to foreigners. Oh, you have to get yeah. used to it. Ganda. Feeling ko eventually when these people actually just train that way, makikita mm-hmm. natin yun more and more. The chaining and then the dumping because um, kasama yun sa that way, um, mm. the grappling. And you mm. can actually suplex. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah! May nakita akong highlight ng let way before before pa. Nakagulat nga ako may nagsusuplex yeah. eh. May suplex. And then usually depende sa referee, there's 3 to 5 seconds where you can ground and pound. Oh! Wow! Oh, <laughs> Kompleto talaga. Wow! Okay, Kompleto siya. <laughs> Kaya, a- ako, I'm super happy awesome. when I watched it. And then I saw its potential for Pinoy fighters because Pinoys yeah. can do this. Ako, I-, I really believe that Filipinos at, can do this. We're, we're at some point, they were... At some point, they were actually looking for Filipino yes. fighters, eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The left way. Kasi, kaya lang, I wonder how our fighters will adapt to this thing. Kasi may headbutts, uh, may to Yeah. Six, Kailangan six lang. Two. They're gonna have to adjust uh, headbutts. And not just the headbutts, eh. It's the utilization of, what do you call this? Mm. The elbows. Elbows mm. within the clinch. Uh, headbutts within the clinch. Mm. And the type of control that you're gonna employ. Mm. Kasi so used to the, the the kickboxing and Muay Thai roots mm-hmm. here. Eh. Yeah. So medyo, it's, it's an adjustment. Yeah. It's gonna be an adjustment. Adjustment but, like but somebody really, needs to train them in left weight. Yeah. yeah. Tsaka get ano. Tsaka ano lang. Tayo get <laughs> used to the feel of ano. Of throwing elbows. Yeah. Be comfortable. Kasi I, I mean with the current crop of Ako nga sa MMA na nga lang, nagtataka ako bakit wala masyado na po forearm punch, bakit wala masyado oh, uh, gumagamit ang elbow. Ay sa... ngayon, nakita nila si Connor. Marami oh, na nag-shoulder. Like oh. Yun na, tapos na shoulder shrug. Tagal-tagal na ng shoulder shrug oh. ni mm. Matthews, tsaka Militech days pa yun. Mm. Pero dahil naka, na, na, tinama, ginamit ni Connor, lahat ngayon nakikiuso na. Pero, I mean, Weird, diba? <laughs> there so, are trends in MMA. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. Very true. And then, uh, we're gonna... Yes. The first of yeah, three regional. events by one championship. Uh, so this is a new breed one. Mm. And um, we're going to have a... So the first one is... Um, yes. Yod Kai Kyo, uh, Yod Kai Kyo Y2K Fairtex uh, mm. defeats Alex, uh, Alex Shield via TKO in the third round. If you guys were... Did you guys... Were you able to watch this yeah. fight? <laughs> Ito to, grabe to. Very good, very good. Yod Kai Kao, amazing killer instinct. Very Dang. good striking. He just demolished ano, Alex Shield. Medyo props to Alex Shield for for doing his best. Pero wala eh. He, oh. he was just dismantled. He, the leg kicks were there. Uh, chopped him down. And I mean, I hope this is one of those fights where in um, aspiring and current MMA fighters will put emphasis on on training when it comes to training 
regarding leg kicks. Like dito la sa mm. Pilipinas, eh, I don't see many Filipino fighters u- utilize leg kicks. Absolutely. I hope they get to see and watch this fight and see na keep kicking the leg for one round. The <laughs> next round, it's swollen. Oh. The next round, yes. magana yan. May hirapan na yung kumilos. <clears throat> That's mm. exactly what happened here in the second round. Alex wasn't like really effective anymore. On the third round, mm. parang hinihintay na nga lang niya. Parang lahat nga ng leg check tsaka leg kick, bumabagsak na siya. Eh. Mm. We got Sok T defeat sa uh, Huang Ding in the uh, first round to. In the first round. They were very good knockout. Mm. Very good knockout. Perfectly timed. I wanted to talk about how minsan Cambodian fighters are kind of um hindi naman looked down upon parang underrated pero underrated, very yeah. underrated i, so, I very, agree niyo ano nila coach ano yung they're, they're very underrated when it comes ano to nila? no pero then, meron silang then, meron silang oh meron silang style kun kimer kun kimer they're ah, kimer yun. kun kimer kun kimer okay okay mm. pero more or less it's it's their kind of kickboxing nga diba yeah, yeah exactly so, Cambodian fighters are ano uh they're very tough very underrated yes. very yes. tough this is uh, our very own Drek Zamboanga <laughs> yes. this is uh Betchadin Detchpool Son Sirip Suphatin yan yeah. natatawa oh, talaga ako sa moniker Son right. Sirip Suphatin Detch I was waiting for it We, there's natatawa probably natatawa talaga ako sa moniker niyang kalaban ni Drek Zamboanga uh, there's, si pro- there's probably a definition there that we don't understand or we don't yeah, know about Detchpool yeah. I don't understand what Detchpool means I guess so, Deadpool. Um, <laughs> so it's a rear naked. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Well, we did say it wouldn't matter yeah. much. It's uh, Rex yeah. 1. So. Yeah. yeah. So the And T-Rex the, makes his uh, 1FC mm. debut. Uh, defeating no, yes. Rear uh-huh. naked yeah. choke. A very good palm to palm rear naked choke. Uh-huh. In the second round, <laughs> caught the guy. Very yeah. good uh, transition. Got the back. Went for the rear naked choke. Wasn't able to get his hands across the back of the head. Went mm. and he went palm to palm. Guy felt, guy fell asleep. I really enjoyed the way Drex was performing. It kind of mm-hmm. took him like at one round. But after the first round, that's where he got his bearings. That's probably where uh, he was. He he had his. Parang that I think the second round was where everything fell into place. His muscles were activated. Uh, he was throwing more punches. He was more active on the clinch. Uh, that's where the takedowns ke- come into play. He mm. had good scrambles, and then that led to led to his victory. But for a debut, medyo na bagalan ako sa kanya. I guess uh, debut eh? jitters. Very so good. Oh, could be. Yun din, eh. could be debut jitters. <laughs> uh, They tapos, just changed camps, right? Mm. And yun pa. Uh, a lot of adjustments. This mm. is this is the best thing about. <sighs> Uh, this card, this fight, and with Drex, you know, you you're in a foreign country, everything is uncertain. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, you were able to focus on training. You were yeah. able to focus on fighting. You were able to cut weight. You were able to pass your hydration test, <sighs> and you had a solid performance in your one FC debut. Mm-hmm. So I mean I couldn't we couldn't be any happier with Drex. Yeah. Slow start, so so but a fantastic finish. I'm so glad he didn't get caught because yeah, some of those were big, big oh, shots. Oh, do you mean yeah. mga exchanges then? Eh? It was it was like late in the first round. Mm, yung yeah. medyo nagbaraj yung kalaban niya. Dutch pool mm, went on the barrage dun, eh. and he was getting Blitz. caught. So mm. medyo Buti na lang. Buti na Good lang. Job, Drex. <laughs> Good job, Drex. Congratulations to Drex Zamboanga. Awesome. So, parang, What uh, apparently, before, kasi si Joe Vincent, so, is tough guys. now tough based guys in, yeah, yeah tough, tough guys. guys yeah. Yeah. He's now based in the Middle East. Eh. Before he went to the Middle East, dum, nag, parang may stopover sila sa Thailand where he got to train with Kedetch Pool. Mm-hmm. So, he knows kung paano may paglaban si Kedetch Pool and then, sinabihan niya si Drex, Drex, he does not Uh, Deadpool does not know anything on the ground. Ayun. And a boy. Or weak <laughs> siya. Ganyan. Or and, weak siya. Oh, so it was clearly evident during the fight. And uh, <laughs> Drex is uh, very is highly yeah. proficient on the ground. Yeah. Capitalized mm-hmm. on it. And he adjusted well. I like the transitions mm-hmm. that they employed. But yeah. yun nga, hopefully in the next outing. Wala na yung Jitter. Feeling ko, feeling ko, mm-hmm. pinapanood yeah. tayo ni one, ni one championship. Eh. So one championship. <laughs> You have Hi. a star in that guy, okay? You have yeah. a star in the making. So, I mean, you, it came from this podcast, okay? You have a star. Okay? So, take Watch care the T-Rex. Of, yeah, okay? yeah. The T-Rex is gonna take over. 
Right? As long mm. as he's focused, he's training hard. And um, Drex is one of the guys we're in. He is making you appreciate the process. Drex has yeah. been... Drex is a very humble guy. He's an amazing mm. person. He's just quiet. Sobrang hard work. Yun yung pinakano niya. 100%. Yeah. He's a hard mm. work. He doesn't talk trash. He, he's the embodiment of mm. a martial art. Kaya nga when people tell me na parang a martial artist mo, Prof. Franco, I'm like, ulul, hindi. Sabi ko, I talk trash <laughs> during tournaments. I talk trash <laughs> to people. Yan, yan, yung mga nandyan. I, Drex is one of the guys that I point mm. out to that, yan, that guy is a martial artist. He's very quiet, very humble. <laughs> He lets his performance do the talking mm. for him. Yeah. Saka, he really went through the process from the amateur ranks. He worked his way up, worked mm-hmm. on his technique. Um, never missed weight. He's very, mm. very, very professional. Perfect. So professional. Uh, it seems like he's been around forever, no? But oh. he's just 27, right? <laughs> he's just 27. And it, mm. uh, he's not, he hasn't reached his potential. So yeah. Working as a coach, and the way I key. see, he hasn't peaked yet. He's... Mm. he's He's there. He's he's Madami there. Pa Marami pa. Drex. Sobrang dami pa. So, <laughs> very good. Uh, marketable si Drex. Super mm. marketable. Pogi pa. <laughs> yung, magaling po yung sumayaw. Magaling yung mag-tiktok. So, <laughs> Oo nga pala. Like following oh, yan. Like following oh, yan. Tiktok eh. <laughs> <laughs> so, next is uh, our yes, favorite Muay Thai one. girl. Wonder Girl Ooh. Fair Text. Defeats Wonder Girl. Her. Unfortunately, tinalo niya yung one of our own. Defeats Casey. Yeah. Pinay fight Carlos. But, I'm gonna give props to Casey Carlos. Yeah. She, she lasted. stood her ground. Yes, mm. she lasted. She if was. not for that elbow or that punch that broke her nose, <laughs> she was there. She was in it. She was in yeah. that fight. Mm. She Wonder tried her Girl, best. Wonder Girl Fair Text. Like the last episode natin, nandun si Wonder Girl Fair Text. <laughs> <The next laughs> well, episode apparently, some uh, na pala. We, we thought it was mm. like just two weeks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> Grabe siya. Grabe tong Wonder yeah. Girl Fair text na to. I'm a really, fan. Really good. Oh, well, yeah. May sinasabi okay. si JC na there's there's two of them. Yeah, that's yeah. like Dalawang one kapatid siya. Ah. Sa new breed to si Supergirl naman. Supergirl. <laughs> Younger Super, sister. Younger sister ni Wonder <laughs> oh, Girl. Okay. Uh, si Chenko said. Okay, 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 yes, okay. Uh, We're gonna look forward to that fight. Yeah. And then next, in the Adam Wake division, it's Denise, the menace Zamboanga, Sa our very own. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, the other half of the Zamboanga siblings, I right, defeats uh, what's a Pina <laughs> Dream Girl Kwai Kong yeah. by a submission. Mm-hmm. So uh, it was very good. Uh, easy. Super easy. Yeah. Quick yeah. work. Quick work for Denise. Sobra, sobra. Another star in the making. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm please contender status. Yes. Very Ito good. Niyo na yung laban contender niyan, status now. <laughs> and then uh she's gonna she's gonna go for it. Uh, mm. she's gonna go for it. These two in these two siblings, these are gonna be MMA superstars. Yeah. You just have to yes. stay focused, stay on the path, get rid of distractions. Don't mm-hmm. let don't allow things to get into their heads. They're gonna go a long mm-hmm. way. Um I want Denise to improve her striking more. Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. I loved the way she handled the clinch. As in from that because when someone gets her when <sighs> when 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 her opponents tie her up in a clinch, she'll always go for a resting clinch. Mm-hmm. So on this fight, I saw more Muay Thai clinches. I see I saw more plumps and the way she navigated and controlled that position. Ang ganda mm-hmm. ng head control niya led to a lot of knees to the ba- uh, knees to the bodies of mm-hmm. her opponent and um, yeah. led to that takedown. So we'll see what's in store. So, can you guys do you want Angela Lee right away or do you want another fight, Muna? No, uh, right away. Yeah, I want it right away. <laughs> right away, na no, right away, na. I, Tama na yung ano? Tama maybe. Na Oh, she. I think she already earned it. Pero I wanna see Denise versus Stamp. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's, that's, because that's now possible. Yes, mm. now that's possible. They na sila teammates, eh, so. Oh, oh yeah. I wanna see that. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. This One is now competitive. Pay. Anyway, pinag pinagtatalunan din ng mga tao na if if Stamp should fight. Uh, Angela or Angela. Denise should mm. but it's gonna be a I'm very, sure very interesting it's more gonna be it's gonna be yeah. oh, oh medyo interesting yung ano na yun ah. so nga no mm. so Denise is not with Fairtex anymore mm-hmm. former sparring partners pa oh, so, so they know each other now gonna lay down the foundation of two former teammates <clears throat> I mean it makes for a good storyline mm. diba it doesn't have to affect their friendship 1FC yeah. as long as you you mm. know 
Handle Give them well. the proper compensation and yeah. <laughs> the proper exposure. Yes. They will fight. You know, they mm. will fight. It's going to be very, very interesting. All of a sudden, the Adam Wake division is very, got very interesting. Because mm. it was just the Angela Lee show. Eh? You know? no. Now Uh-oh. you got Stamp and then you got Denise. Mm-hmm. And since Denise and Stamp are not uh, teammates anymore, They can it's all an equal. Fight. Oh, they can all fight each other, na, de ba? So it's one of your. I know. <laughs> just, just imagine, de ba? Sa atom with panagkaron ng rivalry. I know, right? Diba? It's, it's, it's gonna be very, very interesting. And then in the bantamweight uh, Muay Thai tournament final, it's Rodlex Sanchai Muay uh, Muay Thai Gym. Uh, he defeats uh, Kulabdam left meteorite Sojo Piak Utai. Uh, unanimous decision. I'm not. Uh, mm. I'm not really interested in this one because I want to go to the. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the atom weight oh, my time world champion. Yeah. Okay, so we got a new world champion. Yeah. Uh, it's Alicia Helen Rodriguez. She defeats Stamp Fair Tex and claims. Yeah. The one FC Adam Wait Muay Thai World Championship <laughs> belt. When we And were we watching are... and we were discussing, um, initially, ako, in my opinion, initially I thought Stamp won that fight. Mm. Pero after watching it the second and the third time, wala eh, medyo, I got points swayed wise. points mm-hmm. wise, mm. uh, ring tactics, and uh, accumulating points. Uh, Alicia Rodriguez won that fight. I gave the first two rounds to Stamp. Rounds three to five, ke Alicia Rodriguez. Wala, it's it's. Here's the thing. The way I understand Muay Thai rules is they just put a lot of emphasis on your utilization of the clinch or the mm-hmm. plum, utilization of or parang your preference. Ito na lang yon for future Muay Thai fighters or if you want to fight Muay Thai abroad. That a lot of Muay Thai judges put more emphasis on on kicks than punches. Mm-hmm. For some parang weird reason, lang yung punch. Yeah. oh, para yeah, your your punches will set up your kicks, and they put more emphasis on kicks, and they mm-hmm. put more emphasis on knees to the body. Yeah, if you watch that fight, and the first two rounds, Stamp was very active with her hands. She was punching really, really well. What Alicia did, but it didn't put her into a bad position. The scorecards was she she did a lot of. By the third round to the fifth round, you saw an increase in volume of kicks. From Alicia Rodriguez, and then every time there's a clinch, it would active. always set, yes, super oh. active clinch, active clinch, moving stamp, and then throwing knees. The knees didn't have to hurt; they just had yeah. to score. Yeah, that was weird for me, man. Mm. Parang wala namang effective damage pero at as ng point ano niya, ano? Yes. Oh. So when I hack na nila yung system, I guess. Mm. Mm. It's a hacking the system, pero ano tayo, They just uh, know their way around it. Yo, yeah. they, they know their way around it. Na parang okay. this is the spirit of the rules. Mm. You yes. put more reverence on kicks and knees and the utilization of your elbows. Kesa sa suntok. Mm. I kasi really naman ang Muay Thai weird na ang Muay Thai naman kasi dati ganun eh ganun mm. yun yeah, actually so, makiks nga naman talaga makiks siya so, makik so yun if you watch it again you go to the third and the fifth round she threw more kicks mm. and that and for me that kind of swayed the judges to her favor and it didn't help mm. na by the fourth and fifth round Stamp was kind of gassed out no, yeah. it, it was kind of fading kasi because nagpahinga siya nung ano eh nga. per oh. second Very good, very good pacing, very smart, very smart, and um, I mean that was enough to to win her that belt. So we're gonna see how this goes. And as mentioned by my co-host here, Stamp doesn't have belts anymore. She's she can take this time to rebuild, go back to the drawing board, and uh, see the things that's gonna elevate her skill set. Definitely say uh, congratulations to all the winners of. Uh, mm-hmm. One FC, one championship, yep. a new breed. We're gonna Congrats we're looking to... forward to the next one. Congratulations to the Zamboanga siblings. You made mm-hmm. our country proud. Yes. Yep. Uh, Lords of Zamboanga. I, I, I love love <laughs> the performance, and <laughs> um, I'm expecting more in your yeah. next yes. outing. Hopefully, yes. hopefully <clears throat> things get settled in, mm. and um, I think they're with a uh, Maroc gym. Right now, yeah. Maroc, 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 yeah, Maroc, 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 Maroc. So we're gonna we're mm-hmm. gonna we're gonna do our best to reach out to them and mm-hmm. get a statement and what do they think? How are mm-hmm. they over there? And um, mm-hmm. 
We'll see. So, let's wrap this up. Final words, JC. Yep. Okay. <coughs> so, congratulations again to the Sambuanga siblings. Uh, awesome uh, fight week as always. Uh, marami pa tayong aabangan so, uh, sa mga susunod pang araw. Lalo na this week. I, I know there might be some mm. interesting events palalo. Uh, some interesting uh, announcements. Lalo na, I think, there's some news na pwede na rin yata bumalik ang boxing and MMA events. Yep. We're so going, that could be, yeah, that's really good for news. for us. <laughs> and yeah. we're not complaining. Yep. We love it. And uh, if there would be anyone na uh, gustong mag-sponsor sa amin, we're open. <laughs> oh. By the way, we're pwede po pala. Hindi naman, naman kami, wala, hindi po kami tumatanggi. Ha? Kasi, hmm. makakala nyo snob kami. Hindi po, hindi po. Uh, talaga Ofera nyo lang. lang po kami. Mm. Oh, just, set, just just hit us up. Just any, any, any one of us here, just message us and we'll be more than happy to mm. support your brands. Eh, hindi po kami snob, okay? <laughs> hindi po. <laughs> Makisipin nyo po snob kami. Hindi po, hindi po. <laughs> Kalbo lang po kami lahat. Oh. <laughs> na, na, nagkataon lang na nagchichismisan kami sa combat sports kasi isip lang namin isama namin kayo so mm. yes we can uh, brands if you want to partner us just message mm. us we'll be more than happy to work with you guys okay mm. so Carl so, uh, to that point segue ko rin na uh, we have very good organic reach guys so if anybody oh, would like good. to work with us masaya yun ah. mm-hmm. okay kami magugulat ako sa traction natin diba mm. uh, marami oh. nakikichismis sa mga tito sa fighting <laughs> <laughs> We're not alone. <laughs> We're not alone. Finally, people like uh, listening to three dudes talking yeah. uh, bloody stuff. Mm. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next UFC actually in Fight Night because mm. I, I just really like Alistair Overeem. So it's Overeem versus Sakai. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Not bad, right? Yeah. Um, interesting din yung New Breed 2 uh, mm-hmm. which is coming next week. Um, I hope there's more clarification in terms of the Muay Thai rules. Oh, okay. Um Because I would also like to see more kickboxing because I'm a fan mm-hmm. of glory. Mm-hmm. Um, why do they call it Muay Thai if there are no dubs? I, I would, I just want clarification. Like, mm. I know I have the rule set here somewhere, and the mm-hmm. uh, MMA rule set ng one is called the global rule set, mm. and it's just as unusual as the mm-hmm. Muay Thai rules. Yep, nila. Um, uh, eventually, I would like to see more clarification in that. But other than that, please stay tuned for more um, exotic headbutt stuff in left way. Because mm-hmm. apparently, Myanmar has not been that affected by COVID. Uh, Carl has a new book, so yes. plug yung libro yes. mo dito, Thank you. Yes. So plug mo yung libro mo dito. We're gonna. I'm gonna put the link in the description mm-hmm. box. So please, uh, cool. what is it about? Yes, uh, I am a nonfiction writer on my full-time um, occupation and job. So my new book is called Calling Out the Destruction. It's a um, compilation of nonfiction long reads, interviews, profiles, and mga personal essays throughout my recent 10, 8-year journey through mm. writing. Mm-hmm. Um, it also includes the free Fighting Words ebook, which I gave away um, a couple of months back. Mm-hmm. It's a yeah. small part of that book. So if you like MMA, um, this is the nonfiction book for you. If you have nothing to read for GCQ as we mm-hmm. open up, mm-hmm. this is something that you will be interested in. Like all the true tales that you couldn't believe that are savage and mm-hmm. strange, they're all true. And I've compiled them here. Just send me a DM, slide into my DMs mm. on Carl De Mesa author or send me a message on my email, carl.demesa at gmail.com mm-hmm. for only 400 bucks exclusively on PDF. You can have it. It's yours. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very good read. I urge mm-hmm. everyone to, to get it. Yep. So uh, that is your week, uh, weekly recap. From your awesome pizza of fighting, nagkukwentuhan lang po kami, nag-i-eavesdrop <laughs> yes. lang po kayo. Okay? So, <laughs> nakikichismis lang kayo. Nakikichismis lang po kayo. <laughs> At uh, lahat po na sinasabi namin dito, clickbait. Okay? <laughs> so, it's all news, um, just not fake yeah. news. <laughs> yeah. So, that's, thank you so much for watching and listening. Please follow Destroy MNL Podcast. Please follow Coach, Coach Francis' Frank pod, uh, podcast. We're all 
in your uh, major podcasting platforms mm-hmm. and um, we'd be more than happy to see you again next week so with that mm-hmm. bye bye everyone hello guys um, we just want to share your experience namin yung last yung last one championship na again na dito sa banko so ayun so syempre masaya kami kasi syempre um Kumbaga, ito yung first na laro ko sa big stage ng one championship. At the same time, um, sabay din kami lumaro ni Dinis. So, ayun, masaya kasi first laro namin, tapos nanalo din kami. So, ayun, uh, hindi siya madali kasi um, yung binaba kong weight ay sobrang malaki. Kasi yung last time na nagkatako ng weight is like last year pa, 2019 pa so, nanibago yung katawan ko at hindi ganun kadali yung pagdadahit ko but, um, eventually um, naging success naman <laughs> naging success naman yung uh, yung hydration test namin at the same time yung sa pag uh, sa weight na pinasukat experience ko? Hmm. yung experience ko sa one shop yung mga training ko sa one shop para sa preparation um, mahirap kasi ano eh, maraming tao yung mag expect sa sa'yo so kailangan mas maayos yung training na gagawin mo kakaiba na dapat kasi big big organization na yung lalabanan ayun so same lang din sa akin yung preparation ko Uh, hindi rin naging madali kasi every time na nag-training ako kailangan meron akong goal na weight na dapat kong kunin like um, ngayon kailangan mak- ang makuha ko 1 kilo tapos bukas 1 kilo ulit so hindi siya madali kasi um, nagka-training ka at the same time yung kinakain mo un- very unusual kasi hindi ka pwede magkanin eh <laughs> so kumbaga ang Umiira na lang dito is yung isip, yung me- men- mentally. Mm-hmm. Iba kasi yung ano, yung yung way in sa one championship. Hindi mo kailangan, eh, hindi ka dapat magbawas ng madaming water. Kailangan madaming tubig sa katawan. So, mahirap siya pag magkakat ka ng malaki. Mm-hmm. Paano yung naging preparation? Ako, preparation ko siguro... <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw na lang ganyan na nagtan. Siguro ano, um, Training lang, araw-araw. Training lang, tapos, tapos. kung ano yung normal na, normal na, na ginagawa ng fighter, like, uh, tatakbo sa umaga. Tapapads kay Fritz. <laughs> kay Fritz, kaya sobrang, ayun, shout out ako kay Fritz. Sobrang bilib ako sa patience niya sa amin. Kung baga, siya yung naging coach namin. Siya yung eh. naging coach namin dito. Siya yung, Kumbaga, naging striking coach namin, siya na yung naging Naglaluto. lahat. Naglaluto! <laughs> Oo, chef na lahat. Grabe. Ayun, no so, breaks. ayun. Tapos, message na siguro sa fans. Oo, message namin sa fans. Um, sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa amin, uh, maraming salamat. Thank you so much, guys. Um, tuwing mananalo kami, lagi namin iniisip na para to sa Pilipinas. Ganun. So, huwag nyo kaming ibabash kapag may nagkakamali kami kasi po mahirap po mag-training. Hindi po mahirap, hindi po mahirap, luma- mahirap pong lumaban. Kaya... There's all, ano, kumbaga yung sacrifice namin sa... Mm-hmm. Mukha editing. lang, mukha lang hindi kami nagtitraining. Mukha lang. Nagtitraining po kami. Mukha lang kumakain kami ng donut. Hindi po yan. Kala mo kumakain po kami. No? Hindi po. Baksi lang yan. <laughs> uh, special shout out to Coach Frank Frank. <laughs> Franco Rilioda. <laughs> Coach Franco Rilioda. Ano yan? Tag dito. Siya yung talagang naniwala sa amin simula dati pa. Kahit nung amateur pa ako. Talagang naniwala na siya sa akin na makakapunta ako sa top. Ayun. Ayun. So, salamat sa mga sumuporta sa amin. Kung pag- Uh, hindi hindi matatawaran yung suporta ah, lalo na yung uh, yung family tapos mga friends namin tsaka yung mga classmates ko yan <laughs> <laughs> tsaka sa mga mga naging ko sa Philippines Ayun. so 
Itong laban na to. Hindi di lang namin to laban, kundi laban natin lahat. Ganun! Mabuhay Pilipinas! Yeah! So, Mawawala rin ang COVID. Yes, sir. Magkikita-kita ulit tayo. Yeah! Bye-bye! Stay safe!